earlier, uh, 2023, uh, eBay had said enough is enough. Enough is enough. You know the audio, that, that funny video, enough is enough. And she said she is leaving the situation. She left the country with her children because she said the whole back and forth, the whole online wars, the bullying, the advice, it was just a lot for her to take on. And it didn't help that the other woman was actually nominated Senator Karen Nyamu, who had this huge platform and this carefree attitude and was not even afraid of the fact that she was the other woman. It was such a burden on her. So she decided to leave and, went and relocated to the US with her children. And she said a big motivator for her move with her children was just because of the children. She did not want them to be raised up in such a toxic environment. Imagine your kid going to school and being bullied by other kids and being told, ah, we saw your dad is now dating another woman. We saw your dad is this and this and this and this. We saw Karen Nyamu talking badly about your mother. All of those things, these battles between adults was really taking a toll on their children. So she decided, you know what, I will excuse myself from the situation. And she moved to the USA and baby girl, see, she's thriving. Her skin was glowing. She's looking nice. You can just tell she was on, on that Kajani. This, this is my time. I'm making a whole new life and even enrolled her children in school in the US as in she is thriving. But after nine months, Samido is finally, finally in the U.S. to visit his children. This man took nine months to go and visit his children. And not because he is unable, he has been doing U.S. tours. In between the time when Ide moved to the U.S. and now, he has actually done a U.S. tour. He has done Australia. He has done Europe. So this man has the ability and time and resources to actually say, you know what, I'll carve out some time to go and see my children. If, even if we're not on good times, uh, terms with the mother, I will go and see my children. Anyway, after nine months, he has finally gone to see them. And his firstborn daughter was so happy about it. And she posted the pictures on social media with the caption, Wow, what a beautiful day. My daddy is finally here. We missed you, daddy. Welcome to Boston. And it was just so heartwarming to see them together. Him hugging his kids with his guitar on his back. I said, it, was, it was just a sight. But now, of course, Kenyans have an opinion about everything. Because people are like, Hey, Ide Usidangani Liwetena. Because this man, he's a very charming man, if we're being honest. Because just the simple fact that he has these two women, you know, had this woman in this situation just goes to show how charming he can be. And guys are like, Aki Ide, please be careful. Don't fall back to the trap. To which she responded and said, she is only working towards a successful co-parenting situation and she will not be getting back together with Samido. However... Karen Nyamu still had something to say. Karen, you know, it's such a beautiful moment. Father reuniting with his children, going to visit his children. However, in a comment section, Karen Nyamu actually responded to somebody who had tagged her and said that um, she is okay even if Ide comes back. She has absolutely no problem being a co-wife. And I'm like, why, why did you feel the need to say this? I feel like she never um, has that inner voice that says, you know what, you don't need to respond to this. You don't need to respond to everyone who triggers you. She could have kept quiet, let this family enjoy the moment. Is her husband not coming back to Kenya to her? Has Ide not mentioned multiple times that she doesn't want to get back with Samido? So I just felt like it was very unnecessary for Karen in this time to have an opinion about anything. Yeah, <clears throat> I think it's taking away from the messaging here, which is he didn't tell us he was going to Boston, did he? No, mm -hmm. he didn't. In fact, had the daughter not told us, would we have known? No. Nope. Probably we would because she would have posted about it. My point is Karen Yamo is always butting her head in places where she's not needed. She's always just like involving herself in, thing, herself in things that are not of her concern. And honestly, I get that you can be a little salty and a little like you're trying to remind your man wherever he is that, babe, it's OK, whatever you do. It's the same pick me energy that we just don't like from her. It's like 
whatever you do, as long as you come back home, I'll still accept you. Yeah. It's very pick me energy. And you know what? If it works for her, it works for her. However, either way, of course, the children are happy to see her. We hope that Ide stands her ground and she continues to thrive in the way she's been thriving because, wow, you know exactly what's going to happen when you come back to this man. Either way, happy that he saw his children, you know. Maybe there were extenuating circumstances that wasn't, weren't allowing him to go. Maybe he had a very busy schedule, mm. whatever. Maybe Ide wasn't um, ready to see him yet, and so she stopped him from seeing his children. Like, there could be so many extenuating circumstances that we're not privy to. So let's not um, harshly judge the length of time that it took for him to actually see the children. However, I think Karen Yama just, like, sit you behind in the office and do what you're supposed to be doing as a politician.